here. But I'd rather not stay in the area too long. What do you mean by that? Did it ever occur to you that by rescuing your friend, you're putting this entire mission in danger? It occurred to me. And? You're a very cruel woman. But I find it hard to believe that you don't understand something as powerful as loyalty. I understand loyalty. The mission. I will proceed with this mission the way I see fit. Don't let your personal feelings get in the way of it. Glad to hear that you missed me so much, my dear. Be careful, Victor. She used to speak to me with that voice, too. She seemed so devoted. So loyal. So you know him. better tell me how your betrayal was in my best interests. I spent the last two years in prison because of you. I did keep you from being responsible for the murder of thousands of people. Not good. I was never working for Black Cobra. I was an agent of another organization. An organization that did not want that device activated. There's more going on here than you know. You kill me, and you'll just end up back in prison, or worse. Tell me everything that is going on, and I mean everything. Where do we stand? Well, today about 20 hostiles entered Mount Weather, killed a few guards, and freed one of the prisoners. We just confirmed there's 14 guys killed. Fortunately, the press didn't know about the existence of the person, so it should be quiet for a while. CTA also lost an agent. What was he even doing there? I sent him there. I want to go after the prisoner. We all do. We just don't know how. You don't understand. I want to go personally. That is out of the question. You're the director of counterterrorism. You can't just go off after one prisoner. Just how do you intend to stop me? Are you threatening me? If that's what it takes. Don't abuse our friendship for a personal vendetta. Friendship? Friendship? You send one of my own agents to second guess my work. You send a woman, a woman you know I have feelings for, to spy on me. Don't you dare call me a friend. Friend or not, I am the President of the United States, and I am ordering you to stay in this city. I can't do that. Box, I'll give you five minutes, but after that, Secret Service will have orders to bring you in by any means necessary. Five minutes is about all our friendship is worth anyway. Fox. If you think he's a problem, then kill him. I think it's time. 
for another hit. I want the Chechens screaming death to America by the end of the week. If that doesn't get America mad at the Russians, then we'll have to resort to more drastic measures. Are you prepared for that? What do you think of our friend? He's good at his work. I don't think his heart is in it anymore. I know he's leaked information in the past. Keep an eye on him. I have to organize the Chechen operation. It won't take long. If he looks ready to talk, eliminate him. my base were not American. I examined their ammunition. The guns were American, but the ammunition was clearly Russian-made. So you think the Russians are behind this? I don't know. But as you always taught me, when the enemy remains hidden, let him make the next move. The assassination attempt was a ploy. Yes, it was obvious that whoever organized the strike wanted the Americans to take the blame. I thought that by attempting to kill the president, I might draw out whoever was behind this. You may already have. The girl. She's working for you. Did you kill her? Not yet. You may be able to use her for the time being. But believe me, I will. She's the least of our problems. Seeing that I failed, the enemy may take matters into their own hands and kill more of my people. I have an idea that may solve all of our problems. There's only one problem we have. That's the survival of my people. Let's get one thing straight. I don't care about the Chechens. I don't care about the President of the United States or world peace. I care about survival. Right now, every law enforcement agency in this country is looking for us. Not to mention Red Fox. What is this obsession you have with him? It's his obsession. He once botched a job and killed his wife by accident. He's obsessed with vengeance. And I'm not safe so long as he's still alive. What do you propose? I have a contact. He may be able to help us. 